Virginia. A graduate of James Madison University and a former assistant with the governor of Virginia, I'm Pat Southall. One spot remaining. Only one of these women will have a chance at becoming Miss USA. And she is Miss Virginia Pat Southall. There is one terrific young lady. You're so right. You know, in photography sessions, exhausting rehearsals, and you never once saw Pat without a smile on her face. Looking at the monitor. There they are, ladies and gentlemen, the 12 semifinalists for the title of Miss USA 1994. What a terrific group. I was so excited at that Oh, point. and Miss Virginia Pat Southall won the middle to Miss Photogenic Award. And she received a thousand dollars cash and a Miss USA trophy from Minolta. Look, there she, she is. is. She She's is beautiful. so nice, too. She beautiful. really is. Now, you know, at this point, all the preliminary scores you just saw are erased, and the 12 semifinalists begin competing all over again, first in swimsuits. And, Laura, we were at the preliminaries on Tuesday. This is going to be really competitive. Very, very competitive. You know, a lot of the girls are into fitness, and we have some athletes. Shelly Lehman, for example, Miss Missouri, she's been playing softball for 18 years. She plays first base. Her nickname is Stretch. Oh, good. <laughs> Hi, I'm Stretch. I'm Miss USA. <laughs> But you know who really impressed me, though? Miss Louisiana, Sherelle Bear. She has a 21-inch waist. She looks great. Also, watch out for Miss New York, Jennifer Gay Rice. Oh, yeah, she's a swimming champion, ah, yes. right? NCAA, All-American in college. She is in great shape. Also, you know, Kansas, she's a swimsuit model. She should do very well. A swimsuit model? Mm -hmm. We'll talk about an advantage, right? <laughs> Carol Hovind, <Hovenkamp. laughs> Okay, stay with us. The Jansen Swimsuit. And finally, Miss Virginia. Pat Southall is from Chesapeake. 23 years old and until recently was a special assistant to Virginia's Governor Wilder and also the national press photographers here covering the pageant voted you most photogenic. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Yeah, you may applaud that. Beautiful. Now, you worked for Governor Wilder? Yes. Right? What did you do for him? A lot. Um, I started working for him right after college, which was a blessing in disguise because I didn't have a job and I was in the Governor's Fellows Program, which is a leadership program. And from that point on, I was hired, um, and by, again, a blessing to stay on, and worked in press relations, did scheduling, um, dealt a lot with the public. Now, wait a second, isn't his term over with? Yes, yeah, so I'm jobless. Oh, you're out of a job. <laughs> My gosh, so what do you want to do now? <laughs> well, I would love to just continue to go around speaking to people um, about different concerns that I have of mm -hmm. what's going on, and hopefully getting to reporting and anchoring. Oh, you're going to be a broadcaster, huh? Yes, I would love to be one. Okay, you, you know what? Can I have your job? You have my job? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> the night is still young. Tell you what, though, I tell you what we'll do. We have some tape rolling. You can do a quick audition for us. Wow. Take the microphone. Do you know how to do a stand-up? Sure. Okay, go ahead. Do a stand-up regarding the pageant. Go ahead. Take the mic. Welcome to the 1994 Miss USA pageant where 51 of the most beautiful and intelligent women are vying for the title of Miss USA. Please stay tuned for lots of dancing and singing and see if your winner takes home the crown tonight. Unbelievable. Very nice job. That's Miss Virginia. Right on over there if you would please. Pat Southall. All right, thanks a lot, ladies. That completes our semifinal interview competition for Miss USA 1994. Yeah, I guess I'll be getting some tips from Pat pretty soon. Why don't we see how the judges score the interview competition? Oh, I'm not surprised at all. Miss Virginia tops this particular category. Miss Louisiana fell a couple of points there, but uh, the night's still young, and Miss South Carolina is still hanging tough. Okay, the last of the semifinals. And Miss Virginia. I would describe myself as someone who's, who's ambitious, someone who wants and has a lot of goals in life. Um, but someone at the same time that's just fun and down to earth and from a southern background and just likes to act silly sometimes. Sensational ladies, that completes our swimsuit competition for Miss USA 1994.
Oh my goodness, there are 12 young women who definitely are in shape. Oh my goodness. I wish I could be in shape. Well, you are. <laughs> but who cares about that? We're going to have dessert later. Okay. <laughs> Why don't we take a look and see how the judges scored it? Okay, topping the swimsuit competition, Miss Virginia, followed by Louisiana. I'm not surprised there, but you know, I thought Kansas would be up a little higher with a nine-point something, because she is the model, as you remember. You know, Jackson will award the winner, Miss Virginia, a $1,000 prize. You know, I like oh, this nice. $1,000. And Miss Virginia. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our evening gown competition and our semi-finals. Beautiful. Arthel is backstage again, so let's see what's happening. Arthel? They are, so let's recap. Ah, Miss South Carolina, I told you she was elegant. Here she is with a 9.8. Virginia in second place with a 9.85. Very close, Virginia and South Carolina. And then we have the home girl, Texas, with a 9.699. Remember, those scores are now added to the scores for the interview and swimsuit competition, and only the top six contestants will continue. We'll find... Miss Virginia Pat Savo. We bring out Miss Virginia. Go back, go ahead. Select a number and a corresponding judge. Oh, she mixed them up. And you have picked number 10, Derek Lassick. Derek, go ahead. Give her your question. There's a lot of controversy over whether or not violence in television or movies um, causes violent behavior. What do you, how do you feel? I'd have to say that, first of all, violence in television, it is a serious problem going on, but I think it begins at home. Um, I think parents should censor more what their children watch and make sure that children have other things to do besides just sit in front of the television. Um, another problem we have is just education within television. A lot of it is, is violent, and I think that is dangerous. If, if we, since, if we center more around just educational things and not violent things, I think that we'd be better off with our children. Okay, Miss Virginia, hold on right here for a moment. Now, Pat's 23, and she says she's retiring. This is her last pageant. Ah, but she's wrong. If she wins, she'll go to Miss Universe. Yeah, that'll bring you out of retirement, all right. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. Okay, back to your spot. Let's bring out Miss North Carolina. Next is... Miss Virginia, Pat Savo. One more woman, and we bring out Miss Virginia. All right, Pat, the question is this. The Winter Olympic Games begin tomorrow. Do you think an athlete who has been linked to but not arrested for a crime should be allowed to represent the United States? First of all, I think it comes to a judgment of judicial or ethical concerns and my concern with Tanya Harding is that it's an it's an ethical concern she is not guilty because she hasn't been proven guilty however she misled our public and I think representing the yourself or our country in the Olympics is something that's important and it's precious just like being here representing your state and I think it's important to have great values and morals and to be sincere and to be honest with everyone so I really don't think anyone should be able to represent our country unless they've been honest. All right, Miss Virginia, if you would please take a spot over there. We bring out Miss North Carolina. Miss Virginia. <laughs> and 
and Miss North Carolina. Come on, let's step down here now. Now, as I am about to reveal the name of the first runner-up and the new Miss USA, let me remind you of the importance of the first runner-up. If Miss USA cannot complete her reign for any reason, and of course, there's the possibility that she could be crowned the new Miss Universe on May 20th in the Philippines, then our first runner-up will become Miss USA. Ladies, are you ready? You sure? All right. The first runner-up is Miss Virginia Pepsalco. That means Lou Parker of South Carolina is the new Miss USA. Congratulations, Lou Parker. You are the new Miss USA. The cash awards, the gifts are yours, and you will represent our country at the 1994 Miss Universe pageant May 20th in the Philippines.